After thousands of hours of gaming and getting me to Global Elite in Counter Strike Go, my Steel Series Rival 100 mouse has died. So I'm having to replace it, and I'm going to replace it with exactly the same mouse. <laughs> Find out why in this video. Welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel, and uh, click that like button and subscribe if you want to see more bold men talking about video games. On the screen here, you guys will see that there's the Microsoft IntelliMouse. Yes, it's time for a bit of story time with Game of Muscle. The Microsoft IntelliMouse uh, was the first light mouse that I ever used. It didn't have a ball in it. Yes, back in the day, we had mice with balls, uh, ball mice, which would get clogged up and were very annoying. We just put up with it. But the IntelliMouse came along and changed all that. And for me, the Microsoft IntelliMouse uh, was just like the, the grail the grail for Unreal Tournament Insta Gear, which I got pretty good at, and it just it was just so seamless with that mouse. The shape of it, the precision, amazing. Loved it. Um, but, but, I, uh, I moved away. I moved away from the glory that was the IntelliMouse and ended up buying mice like this Logitech uh, laser mouse because, you know, I kind of bought into the marketing a bit. I mean, this is this has a gaming grade laser. <laughs> I mean, when is a laser not gaming grade? It's a, it's a laser. You, you know, you can do lots of stuff with lasers. But, uh, you know, this this has this mouse has like a compartment for weights. You've got different crap on top of it for this for like changing it for your different type of grips and things. You've got additional side movements. You've got side buttons you've got the dpi sensitivity you've got all this stuff on these gaming mice and you'll know what it's like with a lot of gaming mice there's all these options all the configurations and things and you know what after having gone through not just this mouse but multiple other ones it, it was only when it was only when i got to the intel uh, to the intelli mouse to the intelli mouse 2.0 the rival 100 let's show off the new one um the, I was like, hang on a minute. You know what? This this is this is basically this is basically the Microsoft IntelliMouse, but just a bit more precise and uh, a little bit lighter. Uh, it's got the perfect shape. Right, left click, right click, mouse wheel, mouse wheel down, two side buttons, and and a sensor that just works all the time. And my my mouse mat has crumbs and rubbish on it because I just eat biscuits whilst playing games, and it it, it rides over those crumbs. Like a uh, like a beach buggy over a sand dune. It's it's just absolutely godlike. And at the end of the day, you just can't beat the simplicity of this style and design of mouse. That's effectively Intelli mouse with a better sensor. It does have RGB lights on it as well. So you know, if you're into that, you you know you've got that as well. But um, yeah, so my, my my message is really. Don't get distracted by all the gaming mouse nonsense and feeling like you have to spend 70 quid on a mouse and weight it and all this crap. Just get the, the one of these Rival 100s, or in this case, it's the Rival 3. It's basically exactly the same as a Rival 100, but it's just got more LED lights on it. Um, just get the Rival 3. It's, it's like 30 quid. Um, Buy it, of course, using my Amazon affiliate link. Uh, I bought this myself using Amazon. They, they didn't send this to me. This isn't like a paid promotion or anything. I, I just absolutely love this video. And, uh, well, that's it. Th 30 quid or so, and you've got yourself a mouse that will last for thousands and thousands of hours, and just th there's no excuses. When using this mouse, I don't ever feel like um, that, I've, that I've missed a shot because the mouse, I don't have an uncomfortable hand or anything. It's, it's always my fault. And that's what gaming's about. It's about feeling bad about yourself, about uh, you know, about being reminded that you're crap at computer games. And this will help you feel terrible. So, totally worth getting. Um, the specs of this, though, you might want to know. I, I think this is totally irrelevant because it works, and who cares? But you know, sensitivity 8,500 CPI. Who cares? Uh, maximum speed 300 IPS. Who cares? <laughs> maximum acceleration 35G. Apparently, it's a Formula One car. Um, switch rating, 60 million clicks. Uh, you know, who cares? Who ca it's a good mouse. It's a good mouse. Oh, I didn't. Did I say? I don't think I did. It's got this little button here where you can click through high sensitivity and low sensitivity. So that's the one setting that's used for if you're going from a sniper or not sniper. But to be honest, if you're playing CS in most games, you don't even need to use that. 
Um, it has software that you can use with it as well, which you can adjust lights on it, but I don't give a crap about that. I don't care. Who cares about the software? Just plug it in. It works. It's a mouse. Right. There you go. Enough talk about mice, guys. I know this is a sim racing channel. You're probably thinking, why is he talking about mice? I, I just really love this, and uh, getting the replacement was an opportunity to talk about it and let you guys know that might be in the market um, for a mouse that we have an Amazon affiliate link. <laughs> and... This is my recommended mouse. So uh, thank you guys for watching that. Click the like button. Tell me what mouse you're using in the comment section. Maybe there probably are other mice that are just as good as this that you find the same. But let me know if you've got this mouse or another mouse that you recommend as much as this one. Um, and that's it. Until the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy tea drinking. And goodbye.